All right. So, the recommendation from the law director is to uh, adopt the director's uh, advice on proceeding on this case. Do you have a motion? Second. I make a motion. Second by Commissioner Kishner, second by Commissioner Show. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? All right. Motion carries. New business. Veteran service report and presentation. I don't know if Mr. Oki is still here or not. Um, They're all coming in. Well, thank you, Senator. You'll find Jeff. Tell him he's up. Veteran service report. If you're coming back in, come in now or I'm closing the door. <laughs> Turkey, you're up to bat. Thank you, sir. Um, I mean, everything's kind of highlighted. We had another good month. The uh, one of the main ones that I want to highlight for the committee, just for situation awareness, we had a veteran who was getting some subsidized housing. We got him three hundred seventy thousand dollars back pay. So he went from being eligible for subsidized housing to needing some assistance to make sure that you know financial scammers didn't kind of get a hold of him. So we're trying to line him up with, uh, to get a VA home loan and to be able to buy a home here in Sumner County where he can do the rest of the day. Um, and then we've had a couple of folks with permanent total disability ratings. And they, uh, they're kind of life changing because then the spouse will get life insurance for the rest of her life and health insurance from the VA. Another good month. We're back to work. Any questions? Any questions for the committee? All right. Thank you, Mr. Obi. Appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Appreciate what you do. Though. All right. Item B, law director contract. Do I have a motion? Motion. Second. Motion by Commissioner Schoff, second by Commissioner uh, Rogers. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? All right. Any uh, discussion for this or just had a motion? Uh, I'll, I'll outlay it real quick if that's yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, basically, what's happened here is this this got piggybacked, I believe, when uh, Ben Allen's the one that drafted it, and that went straight from the vote to me having to sign in about 37 seconds. And uh, Part of it was uh, disability insurance, uh, like the previous law director was getting before, which is, it sounds great in principle. However, she started it at a much younger age than I came into it. So what was happening was they kept jacking up the price of this. So what we're doing is we're just asking that, or I'm just asking that uh, number six on the contract is removed in its entirety. And this is already on budget's agenda just to talk about how to just reallocate that money just as a line back into my line just as a spread it out its pay because otherwise it'd be that I just get it as a lump sum and it's uh, I, I want to say the last time we looked it was running about uh, $8,000 a year and after Mr. Long and I did some uh, quantitative analysis on what was out there we just kind of split the baby on that and we're going to keep it at 4500 so that's pretty much a wash across the board. Uh, but again, that part will be discussed in budget. So for legislative purposes, it's basically just removing six because it is no longer, it, it's moved. And if it stays in there, you all keep running the risk of incurring another disability cycle that I could make a demand for money. So moved. Motion by Commissioner Show. Second. Second by Commissioner Rogers. All favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Item C, bond approval for finance director. Motion. Second. 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 Second by Commissioner Show. Second by Commissioner um, Brown. All favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, docketing Judicial Commissioner in your report. Uh, nothing to do with that, one, so um, move that on. Item E uh, is the adoption of the county employee general personnel policies and procedures, including amendments one and two for general sessions to the juvenile court and no longer use the juvenile court policies and procedures. Do I have a motion? <coughs> motion by Commissioner Brown for discussion or approval? Motion for uh, Commissioner Brown to approve, seconded by Commissioner Klein. Is there any discussion? I just want to know here, I, is this is this one, I, I have not had a chance to review this. This was a request from Judge Howard's office. So is, is it from them? Is this from The request them? is from Judge Howard. Okay. That was my question. We're not putting it on them. They're just it. No, they actually it. requested to be under the county policy. Okay. I mean, they're not your speaker. They're good with it, I am. But I, I just didn't. 
I'm gonna vote on something I haven't read. I don't like doing that. I probably should not go to admit. I have, I have a long week. You got till next Monday. Uh, okay. So, all right, I'm good. Commissioner Klein, our attorney's been through it and don't see any flaws with it. It's the they're just wanting to fall under the normal county Same policy. Thing we so do. that's even better. Okay. 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 All right. So we do we have a motion to approve. Uh, motion to approve. Motion by Commissioner. Yours is approved. No, we already have a motion. I thought it was just yesterday. My apologies. No, um, we already have a motion to approve by Commissioner Brown, second by Commissioner Klein. All favor say aye. Aye. Uh, opposed? Uh, motion carries. Uh, item F is a resolution directing the trustee of the William and Martha Brown Technology Trust to transfer funds to Summer County for the purposes of establishing the William and Martha Brown Park. Uh, this was sent back from uh, the floor of the commission. Uh, do you have a motion for discussion? Uh, motion for discussion. Second. Second. Motion by Commissioner Schoen. Okay. Second by Commissioner Brown. Brown. All favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you. Commissioner Schoen. So, now this is one I have read about. Um, I, so, I, I don't know what we want to do here. I guess I'm going to kind of stick, state out my thoughts on it, and I may have a motion at the end of it. There are a few things at play. One is, where is the $500,000? My understanding is the $500,000 remains uh, in an investment vehicle with the rest of the funds uh, that were, can I just, as I'm doing that, can I just get confirmation from the county mayor since he's a trustee on that? Is that all right if I, if I do that? That the, that the $500,000, which is uh, per the will to be assigned to the county for the construction of the park, that that Five hundred thousand dollars is has been in an investment vehicle along with the rest of the <coughs> funds trust. Is that correct? Okay. Um, presumably drawing interest yes. with the rest of it. Okay. Uh, item two is that the will explicitly states that these funds are to be uh, used for the construction of a park. That's is that is that correct? Okay. It's more than that, actually. It's not, that's not entirely correct. And my understanding is for the upkeep and renovation of the Brown House as well. I mean, correct, correct, program. correct. And, and the future maintenance. And, well, and, and the future well, maintenance part. Well, so, uh, that's, yeah, I was going to be out of three then. Yeah, yeah it, it, it does not include the house. Okay. So, let me talk real quick about item three then. On and item three is around. This is just item three in my mind here. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. But, but I'm just trying to I'm trying to lay out facts. So the next item here is that there is an MOU that was drafted by uh, at the time Mr. Holt, who was a trustee, um, and approved by the school board. But was it ever ratified by the county commission? No, it was not. Well, it was part of the T grant, T debt grant, to get the money. So because, and again, this is all before me. Okay, so this is the way that I understand it: is that to get that grant, we had to have a parks department. We did not have a parks department. Therefore, we did a memorandum of understanding. Parks with, board. Park, well, no, parks department. Be able to maintain the park that's why we had the school system maintaining the park because it was a logical decision with the school system already having equipment on site at the schools to be able to maintain the park and that also uh, they would bear that expense of maintaining it. Uh, the house was parceled separate away from the grant and then also as part of the life estate, that's why it had a separate parcel number. And then the school system said that they would redo the house because they could do that <coughs> internally and the county would not have to bear the expense of the upkeep of the house and the renovation of the house. Uh, it's just my understanding that it's quite extensive uh, to remove the brick and to remove the back section. And they were able to do that with their current staff whereas we would have to bid it out and pay for it outside of uh, outside of other expenses so um, can, can I just do one more thing and I've got it yeah I want to have a law director um, so 
this MOU, uh, in this MOU, the, the county was going to take over, was going to be responsible for, some, for a certain amount of maintenance every year? Um, the county was going to contribute a dollar amount. That's what I thought. Yeah. So a certain so so that's um, okay. So I, I maybe I have my thoughts on the, that MOU and but it probably makes sense for the law director to have those make those comments. I, I'm going to jump in the queue here. Um, the, the commission I wasn't the commission when this all came through. The um, commission was never made aware of an MOU. Um, when this came before the commission in September of 2020 and October of 2020, there was no supporting documentation, there was no grant documents, there was no MOU, there was nothing except for a one paragraph resolution in October of 2020 appropriating $500,000 uh, to match, uh, basically from the William Brown Trust Fund, which I'm not even sure we were even legally able to do when you look at the spirit of the trust, um, in order to match a grant. Uh, the TDEC grant discussion, uh, it was a county parks board that was a requirement by TDEC in order to go through the grant process, and that happened in September of 2020. Um, I, I will be on the record, I voted against this the entire time because this was all dealing with the creation. It, it's tied into the Greenway uh, uh, Upper Station Camp, which we were fighting, and it was very sensitive at the time, um, uh, going to the new school and going all the way to the bridal house um, from Lower Station Camp to Cotton Town, uh, Highway 25, and the bridal house. And so uh, I know that uh, there were several of us that voted no in uh, September. I believe myself, Commissioner uh, Wright, and Commissioner Mo Taylor. Uh, Commissioner uh, Mo Taylor was absent in October. Uh, I might have been the sole loan vote in October on granting that, those funds um, because of my sensitivity to property owners like Commissioner Holmes. Um, in her property, but I, there's no MOU that the county commission ever voted on. And th the biggest problem is, is that, you know, is obviously the, the statutory authority of the county mayor is not for the disposition of real property owned by the county, whether it's joint ownership, full ownership, or any other type of ownership. So Mayor Holt didn't have the authority to enter into that and do that. And the MOU is also not legally binding uh, regarding committing and funding, the commission has not voted on it uh, because the commission never voted on any type of maintenance agreement, any kind of future funds. That, that never came before me. It was never on an agenda packet. You're not going to find it in the minutes. You're just going to find it. a resolution sheet. You're going to find an appropriation sheet. That's all you're going to find in this. So this is not a legal MOU in my opinion. It's null and void because it, it never came to the proper channels because the county mayor doesn't have the authority uh, to both dispose of county property and doesn't have the authority to commit the county commission to funding something without the commission's approval on both counts. So I'll just leave it at that. Um, so it, it, it's definitely a problem. Uh, there's been so many things that are, I don't understand the backwards nature of this county for over a decade of not doing things correctly or transparently. And we're trying to bring things into the line, do things transparently and do things in the right manner. And obviously we're getting kicked back from every department at every angle because everybody's just used to doing whatever they want to willy nilly. And, and, it's unfortunate, but I mean, it's painful when that process has to get corrected. And so if we're gonna do something, it needs to at least be legal. And this isn't legal, in my opinion, but that's, but I wanted to hear from the law director, you guys all heard well, I will push around. Correct. <clears throat> when I was over there at the Board of Education meeting, the ownership of this park was more or less the school owned it. And they were gonna set policy as to who could use it when they could close it down, that kind of thing. Now, if this is a county park, and the county board, uh, parks and all that's supposed to take care of it, who owns it? Who's gonna set the policy? The property is deeded in both names, Summer County and the Board of Education. Well, look, if I can have a law director, I wanna, I'm, I'm gonna cut everybody off. I want the law director to address. I, I know that there was an email um, that you had sent to the director of schools and that he had responded. Um, I guess I would like you to address that if you don't mind, Mr. Law Director, I mean, some of the yes, sir. issues that you found looking into the deeds, the trust, the specific language. I know some things have been said, you know, commissioners disagreeing um, uh, with what you know, uh, has 
far as the, what is factually accurate and true. Um, so would you mind taking us through your understanding of, of where we're, what's happening, what's not happening, what can we do about it? Uh, basically, the, the MOU, I, I don't see what legal authority it has based on the reasons you've already stated, so I won't run into that again. Uh, as far as the part goes, I mean, this goes all the way back to the will. The will says exactly how this is supposed to be handled, and just because everybody went into it with the best of intents, which I, I'm not going to dispute that, but it doesn't change the fact that it's not being done the way the will said it needed to be done, struck right out of the gate. Uh, now, uh, could you elaborate on that? Well, Mr. Well, if I go right back to the will, and it's it's not cumbersome to read. No, it's not. But it specifically says there's you, you got to be cognizant of the fact that there's a one and a two the one is this home and how it's supposed to be the centerpiece of a park for the county to take care of to establish and maintain and it also gives some direction on how the funds are going to be used not only to create this park but to provide further maintenance care and upkeep of the park then you go to number two which is the technology trust and the technology trust is very specific in how those funds are supposed to be distributed as well. So my concern in a lot of this is, one, I don't think the MOU is valid. Uh, we've got the follow-up MOU, three-year I mean, uh, confirmation of the understanding of what's going on three years later uh, from mean? Mr. Phillips. I, I'm assuming that's sometime shortly before his departure. May of 23. So... Uh, uh, I, I, that, that doesn't hold any water. Uh, I do agree that the mayor and the director of the schools are trustees of the technology trust, but that is very specific in how that money's spent. Uh, so this statement that, Ms., that Dr. Langford wrote, we will vote and transfer the 500000 at that time, that money should have been transferred upon death. I, that's when it should have happened. So you're saying that it did what was put the, the will was violated upon at that time by not following the, the, the law following the will the money was in, uh, I think the money should have been put should have been transferred into the county's fund the 500,000 for the creation of this park where the house was to be the centerpiece for only the county to control and uh, it says here the school system has the home secured the, the ownership of, I think, all the property out there, if I'm not mistaken, is jointly owned by the county and the schools. Is that correct? So I'm, that's Does that include the Brown House? Because before yes, it wasn't. Yes, that's, was that's all the property. So however the school board in the county wants to, to dictate entrance access or, or use of that property as far as uh, the continu continuation of the upkeep, y'all can settle that it's it's not wrong either way but you're still as a county going to be responsible for the maintenance and upkeep of the house as part of this park so the, but the funds that five hundred thousand dollars that was left was, was basically in the trust said to the county not to the school board correct yes and so that didn't happen and that five hundred thousand dollars was for the historic preservation also of that brown house that's just a centerpiece for the park yes and nothing more i mean it was for that really to preserve that house so people can enjoy the area around it, it I, I, what his intent was i don't know well, i can just tell you what it says and that's being permanently maintained by the county as the park centerpiece is the house so the park is the focal point of nothing else i mean excuse me the, the house was supposed to be the focal point of whatever park existed and looked like whether it's just walking trails or just a field or whatever that was. Yeah, I don't think they were, there's any specificity here on what they wanted the park to look like just as long as the home was a centerpiece. Okay, so the main thing I just want to clear is, is the home was a centerpiece and there's no specificity as far as any thing, just a park, and a park could be a field with uh, the house as a centerpiece. Okay. I'm, I'm sure it could, yes. I'm sure. I, I'm sure. So I don't have a problem with the resolution. I mean, it's, this is where I was kind of getting at uh, a second ago. I just want to get facts clear. But. We, there's no question that we're going to establish the park. There's no question about it. The only question is, hey, 
and where when are we transferring the money? Um, and I, I do agree with having read the the, the will. Uh, I do agree with uh, the law director's take that that it should have been transferred before. But I, at the end of the day, I don't think that's a huge problem, and we, we can rectify that by just saying, "Look, we're going to build this park, which we're doing this resolution. Let's go ahead and transfer that over." I do think we should collect the interest, um, and then we'll and it's binding. I mean, that we are doing this to state that this is going to be used for this and nothing more. Um, however, I, I do want to. This is going to, we're, do, we're walking down the same path that we are still unwinding here with the, uh, with the library. Yeah, so we've got this joint ownership. So I, <clears throat> I guess I don't really care if the county owns it and maintains it or if the school owns it and maintains it. I just want it to be one. And so I really would like to have a discussion. And I don't know, Mr. Mayor, if that's, that's kind of there, if it's law director, who that is, but I would really like to to know the exact plan of when we transfer this money. Is it one thing that's logical to me since we were trying to execute the will, as the will says the county should do it? County, we'll take the money, we will oversee the building uh, and the uh, initial stand up of the park no matter what. And then at that time, we did that, that thing gets deeded either in full. To the county or deeded in full to the to the schools and whoever has the deed is the one who's responsible for the the maintenance and upkeep. i just want to keep it simple i don't think that matters or clarifies it it's simply the upkeep in uh, the park created with it as its centerpiece ownership, ownership isn't is, the issue it will be i mean we just saw it, it. is it, is. it will um, become the issue Mr. jones yeah so i want to I think you guys are missing some very plain language in here. I'm just going to read what the will says right here in, in Codicil Number One, Part One. It says, "I specifically bequeath to Sumner County, Tennessee, the county, the cash sum of five hundred thousand dollars to establish and maintain a public park located at 212 Hunters Lane, Hendersonville, Tennessee, with the historic home currently situated thereon being permanently maintained by the county as the park centerpiece. The park shall be known as the William and Martha Brown Park." This bequest shall be a restricted fund held by the county in a separate account and used solely for the purposes of the establishment, promotion, ongoing support, and maintenance of the William and Martha Brown Park, which includes the house. You already said that part. Now, the important part of this, number two, when he starts talking about the technology trust, the very first sentence is, I devise and bequeath all of the rest and residuary of my property. I'm going to pause right there. Because that says he gave the park to the county. Does it not? The residuary of the property goes to the trust, the technology trust. So that means there's a second, there's a first batch of property that is not in the trust. And then there's a carve out with plot points, coordinates for the park lined out. You asked a legal question, I want to have the law director answer that. What if you can address I, is that accurate or not? I, I don't think the will was clear on ownership of the house. When he splits the property and the first half of it is mentioned and the second half of it is mentioned, to me that's two different properties. I, I, if you're asking me for my legal opinion, there was not a definitive transfer of any part of that property directly to the county. I just would like to know how you maintain, promote, and establish, and work on this house, and keep everything up, and promote everything when it's on somebody else's property. That makes no sense at all, but it makes clear sense when it's a carve out and the rest of the property goes to the school, which means the first of the property went to the county. I don't see how else you can interpret that. I think that would be a legal question because it, it was poorly drafted as far as the breakaway of that, that house from the rest of that property. But we still have ourselves in the same position, which is it's deeded in both names. I think, getting back to, if I'm if we're following along from General Ops, and, and um, Chairman Klein, you can correct me if I'm wrong, um, that it's the issue of when the funds weren't properly distributed and or received by the county for this specific goal 
of maintaining the house and the county being responsible for the park is my understanding is that correct so um, what's happening is the school board has taken over the process of creating this park that may or may not exceed the bounds of what's doable feasible or maintainable especially if there was a in my opinion an invalid or a legal MOU with a commitment of twenty five, twenty eight, thirty thousand dollars a year from a previous county mayor that didn't go through the county commission process, and you're talking about a lot of maintenance costs there for whatever's being proposed. Um, you know, it comes down to you know, Commissioner Teacher, you spoke in highway just about our you know fiduciary responsibility and asking the questions of what and what can the taxpayers bear and keeping that in mind for right now. Um, you know, what what is the scope of the park? Is that does the school board even have the authority to start making these plans and even breaking ground on something that they don't have the authority to even create according to the will that was written? Now, do they have the authority to go ahead and start these, this park and start committing funds to it? And I, I don't know that they do or not, so I guess I'm, I'm seeking clarification based on the discussions I've heard in general ops, based on what you've shared with us and trying to understand how this works. Um, it seems that if the school board is moving forward with plans to do this park, that they don't have the legal authority to do that. And I don't know if that's correct or not. I'm just asking. Um, that's kind of where I'm getting at, because like to, the county commission looks at this. Um, I, I think the spirit is trying to keep of what that property owner wanted with that house seemed to be the focal point with the park secondary. Um, and I don't know if the vision from the schools is necessarily doing that accordingly so i think this is two separate issues can okay. can the school board create this i think it's 80 something acre yeah. was the final outlay on the plat we've been talking about can they do that kind of park <coughs> i'm sure they can that and it's really independent of what the house is because the house is its own thing in that it it has to be the centerpiece of a park, however big that park is, and it has to be maintained by the county. That's as long as that requirement's met, the school board can do whatever they want with the rest of the stuff, create this satellite park, even talk to you all about tying in a path through through this part of it. But that one section of property out there is under the control of the county. For the house. And it's being funded to the county to do that for the house for the house in the park Is well that... we keep saying park but the, the the school board can still create whatever park they want sure but they didn't I mean but I this you... their creation of a park does not comply with the the house the house is separate it would be a second park basically if, if it didn't tie in but that part of the park would be specifically the house as a centerpiece $500,000 was supposed to be allocated for the repair, upkeep, and maintenance, support, whatever. Well, Commissioner yeah. Teacher, you've been in the for a while. So. I just want to ask, uh, just, just because some are not privy to the information, so would you explain the difference? What the MOU that, that first off, I believe you just said that we, we, can't, we can't do an MOU without the commission, without the will of commission, right? So if there's not, not under these terms, yeah, no. If there's not a legislative body movement on it, then then I'm just curious. Would you explain to everyone what that what that change would have been that is not a legal change, not a legal binding change, but what would that change from the will? What the MOU does to change? What's the extra amount? You know, and and just basically just so that so we before we vote on it that we can see because if it's not a legal binding thing we need to make sure that's not in our mind of what you know if it's not coming before the county legislative body i'm not 100 percent clear what you're asking me okay, but so, you, so just to be clear, the, clear uh, there's there's a will and mm -hmm. then there's an mou mm -hmm. and we've already said that's not legal but what did the mou say that was changing to the will what was the addition what was the uh basically they were calling it part of this 88 park campus uh, that it would be called the William and Martha Brown Memorial Park at Liberty Creek 
And there's an additional amount of money, wasn't it? That was 24. Yeah, tw about twenty-five thousand dollars additional would be funded from the county to the school board for upkeep of this park or some sort of maintenance <coughs> aspect. Can, can I? I would like to. I mean, I just have a question, and I might make an amendment here. Or what? I want to kind of roll back to discussions we had on the Bricky property. Like, I, 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 I try to keep things as simple as possible. <clears throat> and the county is in the business of roads and security and courts and things like that. And I'm not against a, a park, especially if you, we can get one for free not against it at all but like if this is if there's if the school is already doing this other thing and they have the authority to do it what i mean the simplest thing to me here actually is to deed this over to the schools under the condition that the county will not uh you know will be responsible for none of the upkeep you know of it it's totally on the schools that that to me seems to be the simplest thing Give it, just let them take care of it. Get, just get it off our hands. Just totally absolve ourselves of it. Now, if we can't do that because we need to, according to the will, build the thing first, then fine. But I, I don't know. It's just joint property. If they've already got something going on over there, is there anything that's stopping us? I mean, is there anything that's stopping us from, from just deeding this to the school? Can I say one thing? Just to finish what I was saying, the, re the reason for my thought, I'm not trying to be out of order, but I just, I, you, you butt right. in and I don't no, mind. No, it's just, okay. just all, the reason why I was saying that is because ultimately I did not know Mr. Brown, but I think the tragedy is if there's anything against what he wanted before he died legally with that property, I don't want anything against that. I don't care if it says deed it to wherever or whatever. I just want to make sure that we follow the, the desire of Mr. Brown because it's his property ultimately that he laid down for however that is. And so what I was getting to is if that MOU is, is not legal, not legally binding, and if it wasn't passed before the county legislative body, I don't. If it was, great. I, it doesn't matter to me. I'm just saying whatever's. It was, it's the word on but I'm saying, but I'm saying whatever's legal. I just want that will to be followed to the T. Uh, that's all, and I believe that's what everybody else around him would want. That's the right thing, and that's why if Mr. Brown were standing here, that's what he would want because it was in his will. So just, I just think that whatever that is, when you look at it. Find out the legal things and, and show, okay, goes back to the will. What's the will say? Interpret the will and do exactly that. And that's all I want. I don't want to give it to us, give it to them. I don't care. I, I just want it to be whatever he said. And I think that's what, whatever motion that can be, I'm all in. Commissioner Brown. Mr. Law Director, you, you said that the house and then this 88 acres are two separate things. I'm not sure if they're tying that into well, the house are, or not. Is there a certain amount of property that the house is sitting on? It was uh, parceled out before he died. He had a life estate in that house to live there until he died, and then it would roll back over to the rest of the, like the rest of the property was deeded, which is what happened. And that's what we made them, well not made them, asked them if they would uh, update on the plat that is getting reviewed again was to at least mark out where that that was so i want to say it was what 0.8 acres it was very small yeah it, it's yeah. not a very big it piece of big. property but it's marked out specifically to show where the house is yeah i i i understand our attorney and i understand what commissioner jones is saying but what i've heard with cotton town and mr Bricky's will and you want to do what he wanted and here again with William and Martha Brown and item one I specifically bequeath to Sumner County and he goes through this and he doesn't talk about property but in item two his first sentence is I devise and bequeath all the rest and residuary of my property to the Sumner County Tennessee Board of Education the board in the in item one he said the county the county and so to and I'm, I'm obviously not an attorney but if we're trying to determine what 
Mr. Brown's will was, it seems very clear to me that he wanted the park to be owned by the county and then the rest of it to be owned by the school district and the mayor and the, the school superintendent. It goes into great detail talking about th their responsibilities with, with the balance of the money, which was substantial. It was seven or eight million dollars. And so, do I want to take care of this park as the county and, and representative District 6? I don't know, but I can tell you that one and a half million dollars is barely going to touch what the plans that were presented to us several months ago are going to construct. It's, it's just not feasible. But here again, we go back to what did Mr. Brown want, and it seems very clear to me that he was talking about the park is one thing, and the residuary is the schools. You hit on a, so, a prime case to be litigated. It does not say the properties of counties. That's that's the problem. Well, you're, you, you're right. You will be responsible you're for right. the upkeep, taking care of it, and that that house is yours to do these things. Yeah, but it does say the residuary is the schools. And that would be all the land. So what? Yeah. What about the first? That that could be considered a residuary. Okay. okay. I, it's not. Okay. So I, I'm going to say the exact same thing I said when we were talking about what do you mean? the the uh, property in Cotton Town. If somebody de deeds me something in their will, I can do whatever I want with it. I can give it away. I can burn it. I mean, I'm not saying we want to do that, but they, if you deed it to us, and just because people deed us stuff, that does not necessarily mean that it makes sense to, you know, to to keep and maintain. Like, you know, I don't want to be just a giant parks department. Like, it's, I'm not saying we don't want to do that. I mean, we can make what is a logical decision here, but. Philosophically, uh, Mr. Brown wanted a park. We have money to get a park. We can get a park done, whether it's us that does it, whether the, whether the, the intent is for there to be a park, there are funds for a park. We don't have to pay for it. Yeah. That, how that gets done is, is like a detail. What, no, it's not a detail. But, it's but, very specific. But what difference does it make from a, from like, are we gonna sue over this? Why do we care? Except I, for, except for who owns this thing. And because I, like, I, if somebody gives me a, if somebody deeds me a 1972, a first car I ever had, 1972 Cutlass Supreme, if somebody deeded me a 1972 Cutlass Supreme today and said, hey, I'm deeding this to you, and by the way, it costs $2,500 a month to maintain this, maintain it forever, no, no, like no. If there's already a park over here, the schools are already doing this thing, that it, and we can, we can logically fold that into an existing operation. I, I don't see why that's a bad thing. It's, it, it washes our hands out of it. Well, I, but I don't understand. Your analogy is a very good one. You know, you said you don't take the car, right? Well, I can take the car and I can sell the car. But if you're going to do what it said. If you take it, you're going to take it conditioned upon those terms. That's exactly what this is doing. Either take it or don't take it. That That's the problem we run into. And by shifting this over to the school board, it, and at the end of the day, I'm just giving you my legal opinion okay. on what the document says. Can you all get away with uh, letting the school board take care of all this? That's fine. I don't, I don't care. But there are certain pitfalls, and I will say it's not in the spirit of what the will said. So well, that's all I can say. If we're going to take it, that's fine too, but I want us to own it. I don't want this joint. We either, just like I was saying with the library, we take it, we build it, we maintain it, it's a county park, or you guys take it, you take the money, you build it, you maintain it, and we wash our hands of it. I really just, that is just, let's just make a simple decision, and I don't, and I really don't care. That's my opinion. I, I, uh, Commissioner Jones, real quick. It's also it important to note that on um, um, number one of the will, it states that this is to be a public park, which means the public will be running around the school during school hours. I think we understand Mr. Brown's intent was not to have that. It was to have something separate from the schools. And I, I still stand by the fact that it is for the county. I, I believe it's for the county to go and maintain that park. Now, what we want to do with it in the future after we get it all set up, after we get it all built, 
it ends up working out better for the schools to take it over in, in the end, that's something else to talk about for another day. But right now we have an illegal MOU that commits us to up to $25,759 and like 93 cents for a year to maintain. When he put the money in the account for us to maintain it with, to build it and maintain it with. So we gotta handle the MOU first and then build a park of our choosing and do it in a way that is uh, fiscally responsible to our citizens. Whether it's using part of that as maintenance money for ongoing stuff. I've got a motion. Um, can I can I throw yeah. one more thing in here just for consideration? Yeah, no, this this uh, says that the county be responsible for the upkeep, the care. The, the box you can work in is it's not specific about the care and the upkeep. As long as the five hundred thousand is with the county as the will directs, if the county wants to enter into something with the school board that says, "Look, this house needs to be the centerpiece," we're telling you that because we're required to. And then you want them to take care of the, the the upkeep and the support at your direction, which is simply saying, all right, the county said this is how we're going to keep it up. And then then you put it back on them, and they can dovetail this in as long as we can call it a centerpiece of the park. Then you've kind of killed two birds with one stone, or going down the road you are, which is to not be tied to anything. <laughs> and also not interfere with their park plan. But the park plan's got to tie into the house. That's the only thing that I will tell you has to be done. What the county calls up keep and maintenance is entirely up to the county. But they've got to be in control of that decision. The issue, and I'll disagree with um, what Commissioner Jones said, I mean, it's a, it's a public park, public can access any time. I can go walk on a track at beach during the day during school hours or during some high school exercise community the community does that I mean, it's public property at least they used to um, but I mean it's a park on a school property you're not going to stop people from coming to a park in school hours I mean, it's a public park so I, I will uh, but I, I'm just trying to understand the, the issue seems that the, the will was violated money wasn't given to the county to maintain that the money to do the park under those conditions and budgets and you have an MOU that is not legally valid, uh, in our opinion, a stated opinion, uh, for several reasons. Um, that, and we're just discovering, and the reason this is happening, because it's almost like, oh, we're gonna do a park now. It's like, wait, and then all of a sudden an MOU that nobody's ever seen gets given to the school board on February the 20th. No, before it even comes to the county commission. County mayor, I don't know why you did that, but you just sent it to the, director and gave it to them and didn't give it to the general office if you've had it for several months and they've been asking for stuff. So the problem, the reason we're in a mess and getting these messes is because the company information, especially grants, aren't provided to begin with. And the minute, it, it doesn't talk about you have to have a, a county parks department. It's a county park board. That is what was the requirement for the grant. If there's anything contrary to that, I would love to see it because I've never read the grant because it was never provided to the county commission, which is why I voted against it and will continue to vote against it. Um, so I think it's super important for the sake of transparency and just being doing things the right way. I just don't understand why, unless it's for nefarious purposes, why it's so hard to do the things the right way. Um, the fear, this part with, I guess, the school board taking it over, one, is there shooting the gun on it, but two is you've seen the school board propensity for asking for things that are just the Taj Mahal and, and the top level and every, all expenses. I don't want the school board being in charge of this for the sake of Lord knows what they're going to put on there and and say, you hate children, give us more money. Get, get, people are tired of that false rhetoric and that's false narrative of, you know, I don't trust the school board to make the best decision with taxpayer dollars. I don't. When it comes to this part, um, I voted against this part because I don't trust that it's it's still part of this master parks and recreation plan that I voted against, and I would get rid of it if I could. Because I don't think it's a good document for the county. It's for the citizens of the property owners. Um, I won't be voting to support this. Still, I'll continue with my 2020, 2020 votes, 2021 votes on this issue because um, I don't see that it protects. I don't see the protections in there, uh, future abuses, or financial or anything else. 
Uh, I understand that we do have to take this on, but I, I think the, the, this resolution is about, hey, this money needs to come back to the county because it's the county's responsibility for the basically doing this park and not the school boards is how I'm interpreting it and hearing this. And the school boards jumped that gun. This MOU came out of nowhere to jump that gun. And I think it's time to put the brakes on this process a little bit, in my opinion. I'm not, I don't think it's necessarily to make a decision now, but just say, we're well, just give it everybody or just keep it, take it. I don't, I don't want to make that decision. The library board's a different thing. We've been talking that for seven months, since August of 2023. This has just come up, this MOU discovered it last month, a couple weeks ago, because it was presented at a school board. So it, to me, it's just uh, trying to figure out the purpose of this discussion and get referred back. I think the spirit of what Commissioner Jones was doing was to like, there's new information here. What's going on? Things haven't been disclosed properly. It's not been transparent process. Um, and so I, that is just, I think, what we're bringing this back down to is, I don't even know if the school board can break ground and do anything right now if they're planning on it. I, I don't think they have the authority to do it necessarily. So it's just like, what is, this money needs to be transferred over to the commission, and then we're going to figure out what we're going to do with only what's affordable and a plan that's not going to put us, we're going to take out a bond in the future to maintain a park or just, you know, it spends hundreds of thousands of dollars in the future to maintain a park because this is, with Biden inflation, you're going from $20, 20 to 2024, 25, 26 dollars when the park might be complete. It's not going to be twenty-five thousand dollars to maintain whatever this is. It'd be seventy-five hundred thousand dollars a year to maintain. And so, I'm just <coughs> trying to just understand all that's been said and coming back. And you guys can correct me if my understanding is wrong, but it's just like I don't know if you can move forward in any other than the school board just hand, giving that money for the county to decide because that, that's legally what needs to happen. The first step, let's just get in compliance with the law and spirit of the will. I think that's, I'm reading that as the intent of this, and correct me if I'm wrong, um, and then let's go from there. But that's, I will support that resolution for that aspect. So, uh, Commissioner Schofield. I'm, I'm going to move to approve this. Uh, so I, that's my motion. I'm going to make one note. I am going to, I, I am going to explore with the, the uh, and, and maybe we can't, I, I don't know, but I am going to explore with the uh, the law director if, if how to handle this deed to either take take it on completely or give it to the county or give it to the school. I am somewhat agnostic about which way we want to proceed. I'm, I'm fine with the resolution because it we're doing what we say we're going to do. It ties it to what we, you know, it ties it to the building of this. So I'm going to support the resolution, but but I, I am going to, in the uh, next session here, or, you know, the one thereafter, uh, bring forward something to, to attempt to make the ownership of this as simple and unambiguous as possible, if, if we can do it legally. So uh, my motion is to accept. I second, I second, but I'd like to uh, discuss uh, that. Just one more thing, because okay. I, I think the point is that if, um, Okay, if this is not something I want you to worry about answering right now because I don't want to waste time. <coughs> but would you mind coming next time or would you just maybe send out a, a note or something? What happens, I just would like to know what happens if someone deeds property to the county and the county decides not to accept it. What's that process? I, I don't want you to worry about it right now, but I'm saying that's, that's something that's important. But say the question again. If, if I were to deed you property, and, and, and you were the county, and the county said, well, we can't take that on right now. The county commission would do a resolution, and we had accepted or rejected. That's yeah, that's, yeah that's, you, that's you, that, you don't need a, a Okay, that, that's, that's, that's it. That's, that's, that's it. it. That's that's it. You disclaim so it. Yeah. So if, if that's, okay, good. Uh, Col he said Culver Barn is a good example. Okay, so. That was taken on without a vote of the commission. Yeah. The commission never <coughs> voted on that. So, so, so that's where we're at here. to that point, what I'm trying to say is, and I, mm -hmm. I love what, I what, love what Correct. Mr. Schoff is saying, because I think that, um, I think that my commissioner, my fellow commissioner here is very uh, well thought, you know, he thinks through, but the issue is this, if, I don't think anybody cares who owns it, as long as, I think Mr. Brown cared, but whatever that is, I think ultimately, whatever that winds up being, but the, the ultimate issue is this, if, what, what the worry seems to be, you know, I'm not trying to put words in your mouth, but the worry seems to be, okay, if, if the county doesn't own it, but the county is having to pay for the upkeep and and if the school is is making the size and the scope of the park that's the the worry right well i, I question whether they have the authority to do that so that's okay i know but um, even if they had the full authority just understand if that's the case 
Well, if we say, okay, well, let's just give it over to the school, well, who funds the schools? Us. So therefore, it's like we're running into the same issue. It's not, we don't fund Hendersonville. Yeah, but we, we, That's the we don't have a, when it comes to the final budget, we can't go through their, their budget. No, no, county owns, you control how you No, I'm saying the opposite right. of that. I agree. I'm saying, though, when they, when they come to us, if they say, well, we need this much money, it'll be in their budget, and we'll be funding it either way, is what I'm trying to say. Not necessarily. Not if you don't approve their budget. That's not true. Right. That's just not true. I guess you're right. But what I'm trying to say is if we are the ones that own it, or if they're the ones that own it, like, it's the same the same problem, the same issue. Uh, it depends on, in my opinion, it comes down to scope. I don't care who The initiation of it and what you're being committed to that you might not want to commit more extra kinds of funds to it. And that's that's the biggest deal. Um, and then what's, I don't know the I don't know what that grant said. Because I never voted on that grant. I don't know what kind of federal strings are attached to having greenways or walkways. I don't, we don't know what it says. Because it was we, never presented for the commission. How do we see the grant? Where is it? It's a great question. Why are we t why are we voting on this? Uh, I mean, it's my, Commissioner Jones, can you make it quick? Uh, last time. This is super important. Uh, with all due respect to the I would maker of motion, I would draw my second. With all due respect to the maker of motion and the second, you guys are still missing the whole point. You can't vote on this resolution. It wasn't sent here to vote on. We don't need you to vote on it. General Operations was fully capable of sending it to the full commission by themselves. We sent it back because it is in conflict with an MOU that you guys need to shred or you need to say that it's okay to do, and then we will correct the resolution. This is not here for you to decide yeah. if our resolution is good. It's in conflict. We need help with the legislative body with how to make it right. It was already at the commission. We stopped it because it's in conflict. Well, I, I think MOU I was, needs to be being discussed, not our resolution. All right. I think I was the one who asked to send it back, and I just sent it back because I wanted time to look at it. I sent it back. For me, I mean, I, I just, I mean, it's here. We can do whatever we want to with it. Well, I, I, the Not resolution saying, is about basically having the money transferred yeah. to the county. I mean, I don't. Yeah. I think, but that's I think clear. Yeah, yeah, it's clear in this. Clear. I, there's, there's no ambiguity in my opinion that. But the issue is um, somebody else is taking ownership. Well, the MOU. I, I mean. It's, Whoever's saying we're committed to this MOU, is, it's, it's not true. I mean, we know that is yeah, not, I don't, it's, not, there's not, it's just, but what, this is a step to get control of those funds to then decide how we want to maintain and manage that. And it's not the school boards, I, I don't see it's a purview for them to, here's these grandiose plans for, you know, 1.2 or $1.5 million, and you're on the hook for, you know, 75 grand a year for maintenance. And it's like, wait a minute, we ain't even read the details. And plus, let's, I mean, I think we need a lot more information. So I don't see how, and correct me if I'm wrong, if you guys, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, I don't see how necessarily approving this negates anything of like looking through grant documents, seeing what we're held to or tied to. I don't think that would preclude that in any way. Correct me if I'm wrong. No. I, 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 no, I, I withdraw my motion, but I want to make an amendment to this. That's why I withdraw, withdraw my, your second. My, my second. Yeah, I withdraw my second. I, mean, I want to make an amendment to that. Well, then if you but withdraw the second. If I withdraw my second, I can't make an amendment. You can't make an amendment. Like one, two acres of cover. You, you, you he can make he, he made a motion. Five. You second it. And then I withdrew my second. Well, then, then there's a motion still on the floor. There's no motion. There's, there's no motion. Okay. Got it. Like, okay. I've made the motion. Can we restate the motion? I'm that, sorry. The motion is to approve this. The resolution. As, As written. written. I As written. written. That was just the motion. So, which all that does, and just to be, I'm, I'm pretty much agreeing with you. Moves 500,000. Which is saying, hey, move that 500,000 over here. We will build the park. It's, it's stating we will but do But it that. doesn't give the school board like they just start breaking ground. Yeah, I mean, we're, right now. We're, taking it, we're taking it and saying <laughs> we're going to build it in accordance with the will. I don't have a problem with that. Uh, now, I do have some other things we want to do tangentially, which I think several of us do. Like, I'm, I'm focused on the ownerships. I think some people focus on maintenance. You know, we've got, uh, there's all sorts of other things, but I don't have a problem with this. Just transfer it. We're going to. And we, we, we're guaranteeing we're going to build a park. We got a motion. Do we have a second? I have a motion. I'll make a uh, second. Second by Commissioner Klein. Okay, Commissioner Teacher. Okay. I, I just want to make sure we don't pass this and say, well, it's too late. I would like to ask to see the, uh, the grant that this is tied to. I would like to reconsider, or I mean, actually consider for the first time the MOU that was signed that was never it's passed. By the commission, I'd like to see that and you know, take that out of the equation. Repeat your first part of what you said. I would like to see the grant that this is that's tied to this, like the uh, the on what 
what grounds, what that means, what that, what that looks like for the county to upkeep all that. I, I just, I don't know where that is. It's gotta be somewhere. It's gotta be in the grants department or somewhere. You know I mean? Not grants department, but it, there's a, like gotta be a filing cabinet that says grants on it. I don't, I never saw the minutes. I don't remember seeing it in the agenda. I don't, fact, know, I don't think I've ever read does. the grant. It was just <laughs> apply for T-Day grant. It's yeah. in the computer. Was, uh, I, I don't remember <laughs> seeing it. Did the carry over that y'all approved? It's, it's possibly with all the paperwork the mayor has, or it's possibly with Kim Norfleet. That's fine, but I, I, I guess I don't see how approving this even precludes like seeing a grant, because it, it, the fact is they're saying, we're not approving anything. One, I guess lawfully and legally, the money needs to be transferred to the county to be a story. Yeah, full End stop. Story. Exactly. Am I incorrect? Yeah, and I brought this up before, and I'd, I'd like to really bring it up again. This is an apples and oranges thing to me when you all use the term park. Because if I'm not mistaken, the actual house itself isn't even in the overlay for what they're calling the park. So it's really two separate things. So Well, that's what's confusing is because is, the will says for the stat, base of the house and a park as a centerpiece for the park. Exactly. Like that. So this would be a completely separate park, as it were. Uh, yeah, I understand what you're trying to say. School board can do whatever they want to with that land, but the spirit of the will, but they're trying to tie in the will to that money with what this is saying and would probably disagree with your opinion. And that, that's basically, I think, is what Correct. the contention is here. Uh, all we're saying is, I mean... Even if we went with the school's uh, park plan it would not satisfy the will because the house wouldn't be even connected to the park which overlay. doesn't leave us a lot of options on what we can do to stop that so all i'm oh. all i'm saying is this Hold okay. go ahead Let Let Commission Brown here. <clears throat> do we know who drafted this will <laughs> I, if we can get the lawyer that drafted this will, maybe we can get closer to the intent. No, it doesn't matter. The doesn't judge matter. is going to review the four corners of the will. He's not going to take in anything else. Well, that's right. All right, so we've got a motion and we've got a second. Commissioner Rogers. Call for question. Second. All, right. uh, All favor say aye. Call for question. Aye. aye. Uh, any opposed? Nay. Nay. All right, we got two. We have roll call. A uh, roll call. We need a roll call on that. Mr. Rogers? Yes. Sorry. Commissioner Rogers, yes. Yeah. Uh, Commissioner Klein? No. Yes. Commissioner Brown, a yes. Uh, Commissioner Mansfield, a yes. Commissioner Schofield, a yes. Negatory. All right, so uh, we are uh, <coughs> two. So it uh, passes in the affirmative uh, call the question. All right. Uh, so the resolution, uh, the motion is to just approve this resolution as written. Uh, and so, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? No. Commissioner Brown is opposed. Um, I'm going to be opposed. Yes. Yeah, two yes, four yes, so it passes to the full commission. All right. Final item under uh, new business uh, the five year reappraisal plan. Uh, I'm going to. Do you want to get a cue for this one? Or do you want to make a motion? Uh, discussion? So second. motion by Commissioner Brown. Motion second. second by Commissioner Show. Uh, all favor say aye. Any opposed? I'll wait. You want the law director to go first? I might need to throw something in here. It's my understanding that a bill is going through right now, which is trying to switch all this to a four year. Uh, I don't know if y'all, if you want to go ahead and entertain the five-year language, that's fine, but it might be worth deferring this until we get a little bit more clarity on the bill. Motion to defer. Well, so, God, well, you're in queue. You're in queue. Can you, I mean, the last time I remember, um, county mayor's property session in 2019, and a four-year option was the most expensive option for the county to have to do. So I don't know why the state's trying to put us in that four-year option. I just got made aware of it by one of the commissioners this evening that this bill's moving through, so. To force all the counties on a four-year? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. I, I read more, if I may. It's an either or. They're, they're not going to make it effective until 20, I was reading more, 2025, but you will be forced to by 2030. Okay. Is what the Senate bill they're going to consider in the moment says. But it is still not in effect. Okay, so it's not, it doesn't affect us right now. So that's good news. Commissioner uh, Robert. From what I understand, like, of course, the Commissioner just said that it went to the Senate. My understanding is that the House, you could do an either or. Your, your county could pick to go one or four. 
or a five or whatever. It was, it was not a broad range. It so was an either or. I would, because there's some back and forth between the two legislative bodies of the state, I move to defer this until Second. after this legislative session. Yeah. I'll, I'll, um, I'll get the cue on that. I, I'm not in favor of deferring it only in the sense that I, I'm not going to vote for anything but a five year. Um, and I've heard Commissioner Hyde uh, express the same sentiments. Um, the, the problem that I have with a shorter cycle, it comes down to political will. And I spoke about this in 2019 when I voted against um, a two year or four year reappraisal plan. This discussion came up because it's like a frog in a, a slowly boiling pot of water. And when the, the shorter you make that cycle for citizens, the more incrementally slower the tax assessors, which is the county commission, can vote to raise property taxes. The previous commission, for eight years, they raised property taxes twice for the amount of 38%. And so I cannot imagine giving another future legislative body um, a shorter reappraisal cycle. And I've heard citizens spoke about this and talked about how they don't see how that's good for them because it's not to, to give you the chance to raise my taxes sooner under the guise of a reappraisal. So I know citizens were very adamant against a shorter reappraisal cycle because it doesn't benefit them. And I'm here, you know, I'm going to represent the, my constituents who voted me in and who spoke about this last time because the argument's still the same. I'm going to be against a, a deferral on this because I'm full support of a five year reappraisal cycle because I think that is the best for the citizens when it comes to protecting their pockets against political will. And uh, Mr. Mayor, you and I had this discussion back in 2019, and you couldn't disagree that uh, um, you know a shorter cycle time gives political cover for a legislative body to raise taxes more incremental, incrementally and more often and slowly. And it's the you know frog in a boiling pot of water analogy. Um, and so I, I, I haven't changed my position on that, and so I will be against the deferral. So go. And one question. Uh, the reason why I seconded that was because I thought that I thought we just got a definitive that. That it was changed to a four-year statewide. We didn't. Between. Between. That's not true. That's we don't know. Okay. Then I would draw my second. Well, second was Mr. Rogers. No, I was second. What were you second? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well. So I would draw. I, that. I still move to defer because I mean I don't disagree with you necessarily, mm -hmm. but I mean if the state says something, there's not much we can do. Who knows what the state will add to it before yeah, it gets through? So that's my motion to defer. I, I had this conversation on the front porch. So we have a motion by Commissioner Shove. We have a second by Mr. Brown. I, and by the way, I don't disagree with what you're saying. I'm just like, the state may just override us here. So the motion is to defer until right. April. Until April. Uh, I will, and as you say, do you have well, something to add to that? Yeah, we'll take I'd like to amend the fact, I'd like to get CTAS in here to explain it. Because uh, we had a, a briefing on this, but it was about a year ago. And they they laid out all the stuff out, so that's what I would like to at least get get briefing by. I'll, I'll I'll accept just a request. Uh, ask the county mayor to request a, a briefing by CTAS. So. We can do that. Yeah. So I just you don't have to amend it. I just accept that. So just to defer and, and ask that Mr. Make mayor request. No, we just deferred. I don't need to prolong this. Mm -hmm. All right. So the, the vote on the table is to defer till April. Um, any other discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 I'm opposed. <coughs> All right. Um, commission recognition and proclamations. Uh, I guess uh, Commissioner Rogers is going to work with the uh, law department on uh, those uh, proclamations or resolutions and, and everything. So uh, zoning uh, item A and D and E are all first readings and they are central for document purposes for this uh, purpose. And I have one more motion. Motion, motion to adjourn. adjourn. So Second. Move. All favor say aye. 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 Opposed? All right. So we'll move we will begin uh, uh, 8.30. Give people say. 10 minutes. 8.30. Yeah. Michelle's working with that. Oh, you already knew about it. Hey, David. How's it going? That's a good picture. Is that man Yeah, with eight pins. Nice. Eight pins, I can't believe it.